Hey, hello, families of the class of 2027. Dr. Jim Tabor here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about what we're going to be covering with your students this year. So we began the year by looking at St. Pope John Paul II as a disciple of Christ who learns. So he's a good role model for our students to follow. And we just wanted them to dive into that as they begin their, you know, their high school experience. So we're almost done reading the book City of Saints by George Weigel. And now the students are starting to write their term paper, you know, from what they've learned about him from reading this book. Uh, once we're done with that, we're going to jump into the existence of God, and we spend some time looking at the five proofs of the existence of God that Thomas Aquinas, you know, shared with the church. And then following that, we're going to begin our study of sacred scripture. And for the freshman year, we focus in on the Old Testament. So after some initial discussion about, you know, what is sacred scripture and what is sacred tradition, uh, we start looking at the major covenants that we find, you know, in the Old Testament. Uh, in addition to looking at the major covenants, we also focus in on two sacraments during this year. Uh, that would be the Sacrament of Reconciliation right before Advent. And then as we approach the Easter season, we also look at the Sacrament of Baptisms because they line up uh, with the liturgical year, which is really good. So following Easter, then we get towards May. During the month of May, uh, again, following the liturgical season, we spend our, some time studying Mary as our mother in faith. And then throughout the year, we're going to be looking at the Sacrament of Confirmation as we prepare about 20 of the students to be confirmed. And then also we'll be looking at the Theology of the Body. We use the Ascension Press series on the Theology of the Body. It has 10 lessons on it. And we found that the students really enjoy it and they get a lot out of learning how, you know, they can use their body to grow in holiness. And, you know, what's a Christian understanding of a, a man and a woman and what's a Christian understanding of marriage? And again, we just think it answers a lot of their questions and, uh, they always get a lot out of it. Uh, every day we begin class by doing some scripture reflections. So normally that would be the daily gospel. So we, we review the gospel, have some little mini discussion about it, and then try to have them reflect on how, you know, how this applies to their lives. And uh, they'll do that throughout their four years at Regis. And we just want to build this habit of, you know, immersing ourselves in the word to, you know, guide our lives as, as Christians. And then the final thing that they'll be getting graded on is we have these things called Catholicism 101. And what, what this is, is there's this mini quizzes that we do about every two weeks where we actually try to share with them some basic knowledge of the faith that they should, you know, know by the time they graduate from a Catholic high school. Uh, the students generally enjoy, enjoy doing it. Um, they can take these quizzes as many times as they want until they get all the answers right. And you know, over the four years, it, it does help them know some of these basics of the Catholic faith. So in addition, obviously, to what we do in the classroom, we also make time to go to Eucharistic Adoration and then, you know, make time to prepare for the Mass. A uh, great thing your students are involved in this year is during, during their elective, uh, we're able to get them some music instruction. So it's really going to help our ability to worship at Mass, and um, I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully that, you know, answers your questions on what we're covering for the year. If, it, if you want to talk further, please just send me an email. We can line up a time to do that. Again, your, your sons and daughters have been really great to work with so far. An awesome class. I'm excited that they're going to be here for the next, you know, uh, four years, really enlivening the school and bringing all their gifts to what we're trying to do here to grow together as disciples of Christ. All right. I'm off to watch the volleyball game. Take care. God bless. Go Rams.